we have set up frequently asked questions page on the website. So there's lots of information in the course, but there's some times where you don't know which bit of the course it's in. So we brought it all together in one place to make it really easy for you. And for those of you that just want to know everything about everything, you can just spend time just having a look through that, um, that web page. So let me show you, I'll do a share screen and I'll show you how to access that. So here now there is, um, if you go to the deckplay.com website, then over here in the menu, you have the questions tab. Now, if you don't see that on your, if you're on a tablet, it might have three little lines there that means the menu button. So you click on that and you should see this list of menu items here. So under questions, there's a sub menu item here. So it's the student support. So you click on that and you get all the frequently asked questions are here. And if you click on any one of the items, it expands with the answer. So, for example, getting set up, how to log on to the course, click on there and it expands. So when you click on the next one, where to find the song sheets, that expands and it closes down the, the previous one. So um, lots and lots of great information in there. So browse away to your heart's content. Um, there's an extra special thing as well. You'll notice down here on the bottom right hand side, there is um, an orange help button. So if you click on that, it pops up here. And if you search for a word or a phrase, so say if we type in left hand and press the enter button, this will pull up the articles about that word or phrase. So then you can just click on them there to expand that and you can go back there. So there's different information there that will contain that phrase within it. So um, if you then still have a question, then you can do ask a question here. So you can type in your details. So just do test here, testing type away there. Um, and then click on I am not a robot. <laughs> so now it then asks you to click on all the squares. So this, this question changes every time, but you just read the thing and it just this is just to prove you're not a robot. So click on all squares with buses. So here there's a bus in those four squares there. So click on that, click next and select all squares with bicycles, which is those four there. So that's it. It might ask you the question once or twice, and then it comes up with a tick and you press send. There you go. And that's gone through. So our team then will get back to you as quick as we can on the questions, uh, usually within two working days. So that's Monday to Friday, and uh, we'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as we can. We sometimes do get a huge amount of questions in, so please bear with us if... Um, you know, it does take us a few days to get back to you. Um, but normally we would aim to do that within two working days. Thanks for that. I hope you find that really useful.